Ladies and gentlemen, I will be discussing 101 ways to win at gambling because my Thinned essay is about the mathematics involved in the gambling game, craps, which is a very common one in casinos at Vegas and basically all casinos in the world. So about ca craps, it's a game that's basically played with dice. You throw the dice on the board and then you see if the results of the dice match with the winning combinations of each type of bet. And there's like many, many different types of bets that have different combinations to win and different probabilities of winning. And there are basically two types. The single roll bets, that basically you roll the dice once and then you can see, do I win money or do I lose money? But then the, the, the multi-roll bets that take, they take an infinite number of rolls basically, but the probability states that most of the time they do not take an infinite number of rolls to win or lose. So um, the bets, these are all the bets that I did in my essay, but I only have seven minutes, so I can't do all of them. So I'm gonna do the first of each of these just to show how the math works for each of them. So for the snake eyes bet, this is the bet when you roll the dice, you think that I get 30 to 1 payout if the dice both land on 1. Since there are 6 spaces in each die, there are 6 times 6 possibilities for the outcomes, 36. So if you lose 1 every single time both don't have 1 on the, on the die, 30, you lose that 30 times, I mean, never mind. Um, you can do that 35 or 36 times, because only one time will you get 1 and 1. So you lose n that many times, and then the 1 out of 36 chance that you get both 1s you only make you make 30 n. N is basically the amount of money you're going to bet every single time. When you add these up, the expected value is negative 5 n over 36, which is 13.89 percent of your money. So if you basically play this game non-stop, you're going to lose money no matter what. Okay? So if you go gambling, please do not do this bet. So the second bet is a multi-roll bet, which takes many different rolls to figure out if you win or lose, and it's a very complicated one that I don't have time to explain, but um, through this, um, this bet, I would use the, the summation of infinite geometric sequences to basically find out the total probability because of the slight chance that each thing will keep going on into infinity. We actually have a formula in math that says how to sum these things up, which is pretty, pretty wicked, I think. And so with all this math and this infinite thing going on forever, dot, 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 we find that for each different roll on the first die, you get different probabilities of winning and losing. And when you sum those up in the next slide here, you get negative seven over 495, which is negative 1.41% of your money that you bet on this bet. On this bet. So significantly lower than the previous one of 13.89%. But in conclusion of this, like when we have all of these bets that I did in my essay, they all say you lose money, except for these two over here the past line odds and the past line odds. But here's the tricky part. These bets can only be made in conjunction with these ones. So no matter what bet you make in craps, you are going to expect to lose money. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> it's only logical because the casino you know, has to make money themselves, but um, you're going to make lose money. Well, that's the theoretical probability. But there's something called experimental probability. So like when you flip a, a coin, and you get three heads in a row. What do you think is going to be the next uh, uh, side and gets flipped? Can I get some hands? Heads. Heads? I got heads, heads, heads. Do you think it's going to be heads again? Yeah. Anybody think tails is going to be the one that's flipped next? That's the gambler's fallacy right there, Jesse. <laughs> it's basically, since it's an independent event, each time like you, um, you will, you're still going to lose money. So I'm rambling. But um, the fact is that whenever you play a game in a casino, they actually already calculated the perfect amount of money that you win like once in a while and you lose in the next round to get you to be addicted. So the fact is that some players will win because of experimental probability versus theoretical, but on average, people are going to lose. So please do not go to the casino. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.